Hey, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. It's Timo with the Timo Show, and today we're going to do another paint job recap. I know it's been a while since I've done a paint job recap because I've been putting a lot of my painting content onto my painting channel, Timo Paints. And it's more like uh, tips and tricks, but I'm going to keep the recaps on this channel because this is a side hustle channel and this is one of my main side hustles. This job right here, I got this job off of paying $1 for a lead. $1 lead I got this job for. So if you guys are interested in how I did that, make sure you click that top link in the description. And I'll leave it in the pinned comment as well for you guys. $1 lead turned into almost $3,000 on this exterior paint job. Not bad, right? So I started a new side hustle and um, I got a bunch of footage. I can't wait to edit and show you guys. I can't wait. I'm going to bite my tongue though because I don't want to spill the beans too early. But I found a pretty lucrative side hustle on top of the painting that actually squashes the painting. Even though painting, I make pretty dang good money painting. But uh, this other thing... This other thing is going to be pretty epic. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you guys don't want to miss out on that. Because I got a series coming. And it's going to be very helpful to you guys as well. I think it's going to be something that's really going to be able to help you guys make money. And start a little side business. Because it's something that anybody could do. It's entry level. No experience required. And honestly the startup costs are very, very, very low. So like I said make sure you give me thumbs up if you guys like this type of content. Uh, these paint job recaps. So this job um, is exterior paint job only. Um, they did a lot of the prep for us already. They kind of came through, sanded, did some priming ahead of time. There was actually some stucco damage pretty bad on the south side of the house. Uh, the homeowner came out. He, I gave him a price. He asked if he does some of the prep work, and I just came to paint. If we could lower the price, so we did. We were able to work with him on that. Lowered the price a little bit. Something I typically do not like to do unless you're doing less work. So if you give him a price for a certain amount of work, and they want you to lower the price say no every time except if the workload is gonna be lightened by way of whether or not he's gonna do the work like the like for instance this had a lot of flaky paint on the trim boards so the homeowner kind of went through and did all that removed all the flaky paint to his liking to his satisfaction did a lot of priming we, we did some priming but he did the majority of the priming so we were able to work with him on the price he was very happy he actually tipped us it's the first job we've got a tip in a while and not to mention the new side hustle that we got going, which is, which is very awesome. It's a little, it's a little hard on the knees and the feet, but um, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. We're making upwards of hundred dollars an hour on some jobs, and um, I can't wait to spill the beans to you guys. But I want to make sure I get all the content together, make sure it turns out really nice. And I've been using the same exact marketing strategy that I use to get the paint jobs, to get the other side hustle jobs i know i'm really baiting it i'm baiting it pretty hard but it's worth it guys i can't wait so make sure you hit the subscribe button i said it three times this video it's a little too much but you get the point uh, the videos are going to be coming out uh, we got a lot of content we're spending all day today editing videos so just uh be ready be ready for a dump we're gonna dump some videos here which i've been excited to, re to release some of them are kind of old but a couple more paint jobs we got a couple big announcement to make with the vending machine business we got some vending machine business updates for you guys and they're very good and they're very positive which is like we try to stay positive over here as much as we possibly can because you know you know you never know just try to stay positive you know you get what you put out so anyways i hope you guys like this video like i said it was about three thousand dollars i don't have the paperwork here exactly um, out of that, I do know that we spent about 650 maybe $700 on material, stuff that we were going to need, additional um, additional stuff that we need to finish the job besides the paint. Uh, paint was roughly 600 and then somewhere between like uh, like um, like 75 to $100 maybe was extra stuff. Like we're talking plastic and we're talking some, some special kind of primer because some of this had lead-based and oil-based. Um, undercoatings on it so we wanted to make sure that we we, we did the proper um, <clears throat> proper undercoater on that stuff because you don't want to put the wrong type of paint on and just cause a new problem for yourself later down the road and get callbacks the only kind of callbacks we like around here are callbacks to do more work because the original work we did was so awesome so anyways I hope you guys like this video if you did once again please give me a thumbs up as it really does help the videos get discovered people who enjoy this type of content find it down the road and don't forget to just um, leave me a comment say something in the, say say something say something spell out something for me in the comment section on uh, super lame just put lame hashtag lame why not all right guys I really appreciate you guys stopping by hanging out with me today make sure to include some of this footage I know you guys like it I'll see you guys in the next video 
or you can click any one of these videos and it'll lead you to more videos and you can hang out with me even longer. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.